Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim Sang's Learning Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now, in this video, we're going to assemble the printer control, the PCB that I soldered in the previous video. Uh, I'll put all the STL files on Thingiverse, like I usually do. Yeah, you're going to need the PZEM and the soldered circuit board, LCD, rotary encoder, and all that goodness and we're going to mount it inside the three printed case i do need to remove the support material first so let me get my spatula so now there's some support material up here as well But let's see if we can actually get the red ring encoder to fit. Well, at least the screen is tucked in very tightly. And it probably isn't going to move. So that's very good. Let's actually install this one first. And for that we'll be using M3 bolts and nuts. You want to be it as flush as you are able to get it. So don't have a massive screw poking out the bottom, but again you do need to use a bolt at the other end of the front case. Give yourself a nut and a bolt and insert the nut into the hole over here. Does fit, which is nice. I was a little worried about the inserts or the support material um, getting in the way of the hole for the nut. Now, these are also connected to ground, but they're not connected to power earth. Next up is the PZEM, and the PZEM should be mounted like this. Obviously, on the side, so it should be mounted like this. The idea is that. AC goes in here, no, it, it comes in and it goes to here and here. And this basically just goes over here between the outgoing wires. Or you can do it like here, but this one of the outgoing wires needs to go through there, not two. Otherwise you will uh, you're yeah, getting a zero current value because it is measuring the magnetic field, the magnetic flux around the wire. And when you pass both wires, the magnetic field uh, fields get cancelled out. And then it doesn't work anymore. Let's actually desolder the pins of the rotary encoder so we can hopefully make it fit inside the case. Very nice. So, get this and the LCD. Push them in. Now we've got uh, that sorted all out. That all sorted out. So we can connect everything together later on. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually grab a, a power cord. We need to have a power cord with the output matching your 3D printer. So mine is this one. And you actually need to cut it in half. Like so. Strip both ends. I think that this should now do. The middle pin is the earthing pin, so please keep that in mind. So to install the wires, uh, it's best that you do it from right to left. Now we just need to hook up the AC input and then we're all done AC wise. So give them all a good tug. Well, basically everything is installed now. In the next video, I'll give you a tour on how to install this on your 3D printer. I'll hopefully have the final code ready. 
and I'll hopefully have the little quirks fixed by then. So please stay tuned on my channel and uh, yeah I hope you like this kind of uh, project. I certainly do. So please stay tuned for part 3 and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye! Oh hey hello, uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well if you want you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.